Hey everyone, I'm Cara DeFalco, and this week in the Cucina, we have a very special guest who is going to show us a vegan pasta dish. Don Pascal, owner of Ohm Sweet Home, and it is, it's vegan baked goods and vegan butter. Yes, it is. So we are primarily a vegan gluten-free specialty bakery okay. from Hoboken, New Jersey, and we just launched a new product for retail. It's called Brooklyn Butter. It is a non-dairy butter alternative that we really made out of the necessity of not having anything good on the market to use as an, an, as an icing, alternate. right, as a basing to our vegan icing. So. About a year and a half ago, we started to make our own. We realized that it was just a fabulous product that we wanted to share with everyone. So now it's packaged and it's available for retail. That is awesome. So Dawn is going to show us how to use the butter. We can't call it butter because it's, and you're originally, you were born and raised in Brooklyn. That's so right. that's where we got the butter, the Brooklyn butter. Right. Um, but we're going to make it, show you how to use it in a savory style. And then Dawn's going to talk a little bit about some of her uh, sweets yeah. that she brought with us, to, brought with her today as well. To start our meal, now while our, our main dish is going to be gluten-free, I love bread, so this had to be a part of it. So we're gonna show you a little bit of a, a quick garlic bread also using the butter. And look, that's it, that's how it comes. Just like two sticks of butter. Two sticks of butter. Two sticks of butter, exactly. <laughs> so we're just gonna start by rubbing some raw garlic onto our baguette. Okay, so now we're gonna spread on our butter. Don, this stuff is great. It really, it, it behaves just like butter, even in this sense. That's really the beauty of it. And what we really want to show is that it actually can be used in any application. So you can spread it on bread, right? Toast, mm -hmm. whichever kind of bread that you decide uh, that, that you eat. Um, you can also whip it into buttercream. We can also saute it, which we'll do once we make our, our main meal. Mm -hmm. But the whole, the whole point was to mimic butter as, as best as we could. So Dawn, tell me a little bit about what's in the butter. Like what type of ingredients are we, do we have So here? the butter, the, the, the reason why we think the butter is so fabulous is because there's nothing on the market like it mm -hmm. that does not contain soy and palm oil. So that's one thing that we made sure that we wanted to highlight. That we were That we using. were making a product that didn't have any soy and didn't have any palm oil. Okay. So primarily it's based um, on organic coconuts or made with <laughs> organic let coconuts. Let you do your side. <laughs> so coconut? Oil. A little olive oil. There's also a sunflower lecithin in it. Okay. Because again, we didn't want to use a soy lecithin. We we didn't. We want to make sure that we're we're true to our brand, and uh, and that we stay soy free and palm oil free. Okay. Now, why is that something that people who are vegan or trying to maintain a vegan lifestyle should look for or look out for? It's really well. It's 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 multifold, right? If that's the right way of, of saying it. Mm -hmm. um, some people have allergies to soy, so mm -hmm. that's number one. Um, you know, number two, why this butter is so fabulous is because even if you didn't decide that vegan a vegan lifestyle was for you, mm -hmm. if you had a dairy issue, if you had a lactose issue, if you have a cholesterol issue, you know, the beauty of using coconut is is that as well as it being a saturated fat, it's actually a medium chain triglyceride, which is easier for the body to process. Wow, look at that. As opposed to a long chain triglyceride, which is, uh, a, a, you know, not a, not a healthy saturated fat uh, that your body is not gonna process well. You know, plus there's a whole bunch of other wonderful benefits of, of um, of coconut, it's anti-inflammatory, whereas dairy is inflammatory. Right. So again, even if you didn't, uh, weren't following a, a vegan lifestyle, you know, having a butter like this really is just all around better for you. Okay, to finish this up, we're gonna sprinkle it with one clove of garlic that we chopped and a little bit of nutritional yeast, which you said is a cheese cheesy, alternative. Yep, it's a cheesy component. I didn't know about this. I, you know, I'm very grateful and thankful that I can <laughs> just eat cheese, but this works apparently. So nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast. Okay, yes. I got the garlic. We're going down this end. Okay. And we got a little fresh parsley too. Okay, this is going in 375. 75. 10, 15 minutes, yeah, I think. I'd say. Okay. Okay. To start our main dish, we're gonna use the other half of the butter. We're gonna put that in our pan. We've got about, uh, we have about a half onion chopped, but we'll use about a quarter of it. 
Then let that start to saute and uh, we'll get that going. Okay, onions are starting to soften up a little bit. What's next, Don? We're gonna add the garlic. We got about three cloves that we chopped up there. But as Don says, you can always add more if you prefer. <laughs> if you prefer, which I do. <laughs> Okay, we're adding in a whole sprig of thyme, and we're gonna pull this out a little bit later. We just kinda wanna get the oils out of the leaves. Okay, so now we're adding in. We're gonna add a little full fat coconut milk. Okay, about a quarter cup, right? Yeah, that looks about right. Little pinch of turmeric, or maybe two pinches. Gives it nice color. And then a quarter of a cup of nutritional mm -hmm. yeast. Okay. Now, if you feel that the, the sauce is too tight, mm -hmm. we can always add just a little bit more coconut milk. Okay. But we'll see that as you get it incorporated. Just a little pinch of cayenne. Now, For me, yes. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you like it a little bit more spicy, use a little bit more. If you like a different kind of heat, you can use a red pepper, red pepper flake, flake instead. So now we'll add a pinch of salt. All right, we're gonna get out this brick. Here we go. And we're putting in one can of chechi or garbanzo beans, however you like to refer to them. Right. Drained. And I think this is great, because we found, you found the zucchini noodles already spiralized. Right. So if you don't have the tool at home or you don't want to take the time to do it, they now sell them already done for you. Yes, easy peasy. And it's nice, because that's a, that's a quantity for, you know, that, that's the equivalent of a pound of pasta. So if you're making right. a meal for a family, that's a right. lot of work exactly. otherwise. So this is a pound of, of what zucchini they call noodles. zucchini noodles, right, exactly. So we're gonna put those in. So, basically you don't really wanna overcook the, the, the noodle. Right, liquid. I imagine it would get very soft. Right, and it gets very soft very quickly. So you really just wanna toss them around in the sauce, you wanna get everything coated. Probably I'd say a good maybe three to four minutes. And then what we'll do is we'll finish it off with a little bit uh, more butter, mm -hmm. which kind of just makes the sauce very velvety. Smooth and, and right, yeah. right. All right, we've been working together. Cheers, so let's Cheers. give this a shot. And you're gonna tell me a little bit about dessert because we've got some really good stuff here. Mm. Mm. Oh, that was really good. delicious. So des for dessert, we have a vegan gluten-free chocolate cake mm. with some strawberries. We call it buttercream. So that <laughs> is buttercream that is made with our butter. So again, to show the versatility of the butter, that you can saute with it, you can cook with it, you can spread it. We've made the, the, the garlic bread. bread, and now we use it in uh, as our buttercream. So we have a, the, the strawberry chocolate cake, and then we also have underneath it the little micro cake. So those mm. are vanilla cakes with chocolate buttercream. And those are things that people can order online from you. You'll do specialty cakes. Uh, so we do specialty cakes. So we're not a retail store. We're okay. a commercial bakery. And okay. we sell wholesale mainly, but we do do special event cakes. So this is what would be considered a special event cake for us. And, uh, and yes, you can order online. Uh, the website is being updated to make sure that we can, um, you know, support a, a retail online business. Okay. Again, we were always wholesale. So now we're starting to actually sell retail online too. Okay. So not only can people get the butter product by itself if they yes. want, you know, the, the and they're, all your baked goods are gluten-free and vegan. That is correct. Yeah. Dawn, thank you so much for coming to the Kachina, hanging thank out with you. us, showing us their stuff. This I really fabulous. appreciate it. Thank and again, you. you can find all of Dawn's information on our website, caradevalco.com. If you like this video and this recipe, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also follow Dawn in all the same places. And uh, we'll get you your website so you can order yourself a cake. That's it for this week in the Kachina. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time.